Mercury. Today we're going to celebrate Frida Kahlo. She's a Mexican artist, wonderful artist. And actually, right now in Mexico City, Mexico, she her house is there and it's a museum. So if you ever get a chance to go to Mexico City, Ciudad de Mexico, you would be able to see her house and celebrate her. So today we're going to read all about her. She was the bravest girl in the world with some of the things she did in the art world. So today we celebrate her for Women's History Month. Hola comunidad de Greenfield, soy Super de Galván, aquí con ustedes leyendo esta historia. Hoy vamos a celebrar a alguien, alguien que es una mujer, Frida Kahlo, de México. Y en, ahorita en este momento, si ustedes pasan por la Ciudad de México, pueden encontrar la casa de ella, que es un museo en este momento, y pueden eh, ver lo, la vida de ella y cómo... Uh, lo crearon ahí en México, en la Ciudad de México. So, hoy vamos a celebrar ella porque es una mujer de nuestra historia y es alguien que tiene muchas um, cosas de artistas que ella hizo en su tiempo y ahora nosotros nos podemos disfrutar en sus trabajos. So, gracias por estar aquí conmigo y ojalá que ustedes disfruten con esta historia. Hope you enjoyed this story and really get to learn about Frida Kahlo. And I don't know if you noticed, I am wearing Oak Avenue Brown Bears today. Yesterday, huge shout out. Today, shout out to Oak Avenue School. Thank you for being here. And yesterday I was wearing uh, from the Kodiaks over at Mary Chocolate Academy. So if you're a Kodiak, we say hello to you as well. And all of our other bears will be reading more stories and tomorrow I'll wear a different shirt to celebrate your school. All right, here we go. Frida Kahlo and the bravest girl in the world. This is famous artists and the children who knew them. The story is written by Lawrence Ann Holt. Okay. Here we go, Frida Kahlo. There was once a girl with big brown eyes. Her name was Mariana. She lived in a house in Mexico, full of paintings by a famous artist named Frida Kahlo. Frida had painted Mariana's daddy, and she also painted her sister Lupita, and she had also painted her brother Eduardo. But Mariana's famous paint, favorite painting was of her wise grandma, Doña Rosita. Frida Kahlo had painted every white hair on her grandma's head so that the painting seemed almost alive. Ah, I want to be painted too, said Mariana. Oh no, you are too little, said the big sister. You could never sit still for that long, Mariana. Anyways, Mariana would be scared to go to Frida's house anyways where you need to go in order to be painted. It's full of strange things and Frida she keeps a skeleton above her bed. Mariana's eye grew really big and kind of scared. But one day, Mariana's daddy finally said, Mariana, you know what? Now it's your turn. I think you should go to Frida's house on Saturday. Mariana felt very nervous as it approached the blue house where Frida lived. She waited a long time before she rang the bell. At last, the door opened and there stood Frida Kahlo. She was as beautiful as a Mexican princess. Frida wore rings on all of her fingers and flowers in her hair and a beautiful dress that reached right down to the floor. Hello, Mariana, said Frida. How are you today? Uh, I'm a little scared. Well, that's okay, said Frida. Everyone feels scared sometimes. So just take my hand and let's go inside. Frida did not have any children, but she had lots of animals. Come and meet my friends, she said. This is Fulan Chong, the spider monkey. This is Bonito, my parrot. And this is my favorite little dog. I call him Mr. Sholoki. What a funny name, said Mariana. This is my baby deer, Caramiso. And this is my beautiful eagle, Gertrude Casablanca. What does Gertrude Casablanca mean? asked Mariana. Hey, kiddo, don't you know? It means Gertrude White Poo. White Poo? Mariana almost laughed, but she still was a little bit frightened, so she didn't. Listen, little sister, whispered Frida, if you are very lucky, you will meet my favorite friend of all. He's an ugly toad, friend, as big as an elephant. Mariana's eye grew really big. She knew that a princess does like frogs, but she hoped she wouldn't have to kiss him. You and I are going to be pals, said Frida. Let's go to the studio. 
Okay, now, let's get to work, said Frida. Mariana sat in a tall chair. Her feet didn't even touch the ground. Mariana tried to sit still. She looked at all the funny things in the studio, toys and candies and dolls. Frida, where is that enormous frog toad you speak of? Oh, he'll stop by at lunchtime. My frog toad is always hungry. Then the gate opened and someone came into the yard. All of a sudden, Mariana felt scared. She saw an enormous man with a fat tummy and a big froggy face with froggy eyes. Frida gave the man a kiss. Mariana, meet Diego, my favorite frog toad. This is my friend, Mariana. I'm painting her today, she told Diego. Diego smiled and kissed Mariana's hand. Then he ate the biggest meal that Mariana had ever prepared. Diego, he's a great painter too, Frida said. Maybe the greatest painter in Mexico. And my Frida is the greatest painter in the world, said Diego. After lunch, Frida said, I'm too tired to paint anymore. I need to rest a little while. Help me to my bedroom, little sister. Mariana remembered that her brother, but he had said that I think I'll just go home, she said. I don't like skeletons. Ah, you're funny, said Frida. There was Frida's bed and on top of the bed, there it was, the skeleton. But this skeleton was not scary at all. It was a big toy skeleton with a funny hat and a silly smile on his face. Oh, I love your dresses, she said. Thanks, said Frida. You know why I wear a long dress all the time? Um, because you're a princess? Frida laughed. Listen, little sister, come and sit beside me and I'll tell you a true story. When I was a young girl, I went to school in the city. One day I got on the bus with a boy. Was he your boyfriend? No, he wasn't my boyfriend. Okay, yes, he was my boyfriend, said Frida. And anyway, a dreadful thing happened. The bus was in a crash with a train. It was a terrible accident. But they put me and they put me in a hospital for a really long time. What? Poor Frida, did it hurt you? Yes, it did hurt. It hurt me and it still hurts me today. It hurt so bad that they had to make me a special plaster coat to hold my body still. They carried me home and put me in this bed. I was scared. I thought my life was over, but it wasn't over, was it, Frida? No way, kiddo. I was just beginning. One day, my papa made me a special easel and gave me some paints. Even, he even fixed a mirror above my bed. Look up there, Frida, he said. That's the bravest girl in the world, he told me. And that's when I started painting. You got it. I said to the funny skeleton, listen, Boney, Frida may be broken, but she sure isn't finished. I'm never gonna be scared of anything again. I'm gonna be a painter. I'm gonna be the best painter in all of Mexico. And if it wasn't for the accident, I probably wouldn't even be an artist, right, Frida? Hmm, maybe that's true, Mariana. The doctors told me that I would never walk again, but no one tells Frida what to do. Slowly, I learned to walk, and always now I wear long dresses to cover my broken leg. Oh, okay. All work, all week, Mariana waited for Saturday so she could go back to the blue house and talk to Frida. Mariana loved Frida and Frida loved Mariana. Look here, little sister, have you ever seen anything like this? Hanging on the line were three parts of pink underpants, big enough for an elephant. Who do those belong to? Diego? Yup, especially made for him. But sometimes Frida had to paint in a wheelchair. Mariana felt very sad for Frida, but Frida said, feet, who, knew, who needs them when you have things to fly? We are stronger than we think, Mariana. And here's a little secret. Women are stronger than men. And it's true. Frida gave Mariana lots of presents, a special little chair so that Mariana's feet could reach the ground, and her own baby skeleton with the hat. Mariana looked at the skeleton and said, listen, Boney, I'm the bravest girl in the world, you know that? Then, one Saturday, Frida said the painting was finished. Let me see, let me see. Frida only smiled. She wrapped it up in brown paper and tied a ribbon on it, and she told Mariana to open it at her house. Your granny, Doña Rosita, is a wise old woman. If she likes the painting, then it can't be too bad. But listen, Mariana, I have painted a name on the bottom of the picture. 
It is the name of the strongest, bravest, most beautiful little woman I know. Of course, said Mariana. You have signed your name. Frida on the painting. No, no one is braver than me. Mariana said goodbye to the animals, and then she kissed Diego, the big frog toad. She pretended she didn't know about his pink chonies, or the bath toys. Frida had one last present for Mariana, a Mexican princess dress just like hers. Promise me you'll be strong like me, little sister. Promise me that you will fly into your life. Mariana kissed Frida and hugged her hard and promised that she would. Then she took her daddy's hand and walked out of the blue house. Well, said Granny Rosita, can we see your painting? Everybody gathered around Mariana until she untied the ribbon. There was the girl with the big brown eyes sitting perfectly still on her own special chair. Doña Rosita said it was the most beautiful painting in Mexico, and she would know because she's a very wise woman. And underneath was the name of the strongest, most bravest girl in the world, Mariana. How about that, boys and girls? That was a cool story. So that's the story of Frida Kahlo and how Mariana went to her house to get a painting of herself. So talks a lot about bravery and about how important it is um, to do wonderful things like painting and be brave in that world. So thanks for joining me today. We continue to celebrate Women's History Month and I'm so glad to read your story tonight. And I am Super Nagel Vaughn sending a great big bear hug from our family to yours. <laughs>